got right here. Eon beat Lumbre and Luders. Who sent Eon to Luders? Charlie. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, true, I did see that. Anyway, start this off. That hurt my soul. I just saw a rival with that uh, Zare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just Got barely. Them. Crawling around, upping. Well, yeah, that's pretty good in this matchup because a lot of uh, Roy's sword moves, they hit above him. Yeah, very true. So, I, I mean, mean expect to see rival do that more. Might get run up and down tilted. All about that grab with CSS. You can get that grab, you've got the win. Yeah. Well, and to get to that grab, I mean, the whole play sells around it, right? We've seen Rival do really well here, conditioning his opponent with these, with the jumping and the, the aerials, um, and then getting that grab that he needs. But with Roy, that's harder because he has all those disjoints and they can stuff you out. So if he's reading some kind of approach with an aerial, he could just swat you out of the air. Right. Beautiful. Uh, tether cancel. Yeah, these tether cancels he's been using have on, been on point, especially to chase his opponents off stage. They both actually have really clean movement. Um, Cyro with his uh, single side beat in the air just like low cancel kind of a little bit and stall, finishing off the dash attack. Yeah, Gathering they're... himself. You just don't usually see people wait on the angle platform like that on the second stock when there's no arson in play. Yeah. Sometimes I just wait just every once in a while just to mess with my opponent. It's only because the um, invincibility doesn't last long in this game. Yeah, that's true. I th but I think that's only if it's at the end of, like, if you hold it until till the end. Um, there's... If you drop down immediately, you have four seconds of invincibility. If you stay on the angel platform total, you have, um, I'm sorry, if you stay up, you have two sec you have four seconds. If you drop down, you have two. But the way to maximize it is to stay up there for three and then drop down, and that gets you five. Because you still have the two if you drop down after second three. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that's the way it worked. I thought it was that if you uh, waited a little bit, you still got the full four seconds. If you, drop if you wait the whole time, then you'll drop down with no invincibility whatsoever. Right, yeah. I knew that. Okay, so it's the F tilt there. Right. I mean, yeah, Rival's uh, in a bad spot here. The thing about this matchup is it's a character that can keep up with you in ZSS, but he really wants to get in your face, whereas ZSS kind of wants to, I don't know, Marth type range you, like tipper you almost, where that's where a lot of her bread and butters are going to come from. Hmm. Wow, I thought he was going to have that in there. The tech chase. I mean,. Uh, Cyro can afford to miss that though because he is really on top here and Roy is one of those characters where just about any of these moves that he hits with is going to kill. Especially with the, again CSS being just so light. Like I think weight in this matchup is a pretty maybe wow. not talked about enough. I'm not, I don't know exactly what weight CSS is. I don't know which weight I would characters I really I would assume CSS is more like in the high 70s, and Roy's like 90s? I don't know the exact number. I know. Yeah, Roy's we'll pretty heavy. I'll look this out. I'll look this up. All right. Okay. I have the, actually the uh, weight specifically set to my home screen because I'm always looking at weights. Oh. Back air. Kills. Yeah, that move will easily kill. So let's go rival after he loses. That is one way to uh, hype up your friend. All right, so CSS is uh, 80, and Roy is 95. That is a heavy boy for how fast he moves. Yeah. I think the only other character that's like that that's super heavy but also really just fast is uh, Bowser. Right, that's what I was thinking when you preface that. Which is just terrifying, especially with how many of his moves have uh, intangibility or in or super armor just on the start up. I mean, that took a while to get used to a character because heavies previously, like. I still haven't gotten used to it. I get bodied by Bowser's often. But yeah, when Bowser's just running at you, it's it's terrifying. It's terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying. It's like. But you know what's equally terrifying? Yeah. Is when Roy is running at you. <laughs> like especially if you have to attack. Oh yeah. 
nice start for uh, rival this game though. Battlefield is a pretty pretty good DFS stage. I would like to see um, rival take advantage of Cyro tech away because he's done that pretty much every time. Yeah, I'm actually surprised we haven't seen more uh, up airs from Zyro, just because, uh, or these these landing up airs, just since, uh, I mean, DSS wants to be in the air so much, and uh, you, you can get a lot out of it with Roy. Right. In positional control and damage, uh, combo potential. It seems like one of the, f not few moves, but one of the moves that benefits most from uh, the sour spot. Yeah, so... Uh, Cyro landed that confirmed, but uh, Rifle actually managed to tech on that platform. Battlefield coming out for him in a big way. Comes up that tilt wow, there, and yeah. So sick. Unless it happens to you. <laughs> you can't even be mad at something like that. That's just a. That comes from the territory of playing Roy. You're like Little Mac with a sword. Oh, and Rival isn't there. It's gonna be mm. big if he can make some more things happen with this stock. And it looks like he will not be landing that up smash, but he's still got another shot here. That was a really cute recovery too, like for him getting off the stage there. Like he, his move was just so plain to me. I feel like he tacked on maybe a bit, about 20-25% there that he really didn't deserve that he kind of earned with the movement. Trying to go for some kind of read. Could have had a couple more up airs. Oh wow, I got the, what was that, forward air into up air and mm -hmm. the, the sour up air? Yep. Invincible ledge cub, still hard to get used to. <laughs> wow, back air? Yeah, back air, though. that's hard to watch. It's The question isn't, is that what they're trying for? It's, will he execute it? Yeah, definitely. Mm. I'm surprised he goes for that when he had a... We need whip set, you can just go for double edge dance and get a free 20% there, so it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I honestly think the side B is just ridiculous. Well, I'm not, I haven't really looked into Roy, but it seems like the side B doesn't get affected by the um, sour spot as a few, or if it does, it doesn't seem like it matters whatsoever. Or if anything, it might help it link into the next hits, whereas um, Mars, for example, yeah, very hard falls. to check them all. Like, having gone play for Mars and Smash 4 to this game, they just don't connect anywhere near the same way. We've seen them a little better. Yeah, I mm, totally agree. Of course, the move kills a little earlier in this game. Or if it functions. <laughs> right. I mean, I just remember when Leo came and he was playing the Mars and he was just, like, going for these side Bs and not landing any of the tempers. Can we talk about how that up smash scoop, but this, it was a ZSS up smash where it doesn't, hit, uh, animation wise, look like a scooping style. Because it looked like he was going for, say, like a drop down fair. And it just caught him right up in that. And all he needs now is one combo to even the setup. Yeah, this is looking doable. The back heart, the back hit of Nair. Wow. Oh, Deleted. drop down back air. Yeah. Absolutely deleted. So, what can Rival change to not make this a 3-0? This is already a pretty uh, top level match. I mean, I'm not saying that he shouldn't have beat Razo, but to beat Razo is a pretty, um, pretty good upset. Definitely, I think the play style required to beat each character is very different, though. And if you're just switching between them, it can be difficult, to say the least. Styles make fights. That's right. Yeah. Oh gosh. This changeup is not what you need. The worst skin is not what you need. <laughs> and what makes this the worst one? Um, it's just any time that you're going to mix yellow and green and it's not going to be sprite related, I just feel like you've wasted a skin. It just looks weird. So you're not a Packers fan? Um, I am a Packers fan, but they have a, I don't know, something about the way that they do it. It just works. And it's not, it's not a lime 
kind of yellow? It's more of like a nice uh, earthy yellow, or is this like a more fluorescent yellow? I agree this is pretty ugly, but maybe that's the strategy here. And the Packers have the heritage. If they just came, if the Packers came out in 2014 with the skin, then I'd be like, you guys need to re-adjust what you're doing with your cosmetics. It's classic. I, I mean, Packers are one of those teams that play a lot with those old jerseys too. Or the old helmets and stuff like that. Yeah, I love vintage anything, but they can retire this uh, skin immediately. They could have just made it one of those bikini skins. Make it a nice yellow bikini skin. Well, we got a nice little lead here, but we all know the kill power of Roy. Where are you going, bro? Oh, that was so good from Cairo there, catching the, the two frame there. I don't wow. Can you get the spike tick, spike tick the hitbox there below the ledge? I'm not familiar enough with Roy to say yes or no. A little sour spot there. That's gotta be. Once again, I don't know why you don't just drop shield and type B. Tyro needs but. to get some of these. Well, he doesn't need to get these techs because he's winning, but I think that uh, he would significantly decrease Rival's chance of. Oh, wow. what a clever play. I mean, he took. What, I don't remember the exact percentages, but he definitely raised about a 50 to 50 percent deficit with that play. Yeah, maybe that's what he needs to fire himself back up here. And it doesn't exactly give him momentum, but what it does is opens the opportunity for momentum to be achieved again, and it kind of neutralizes the situation. So it gives him momentum in a sense of he was definitely losing before. And now he's still losing, but um, that was and weird. Now he, he is holding lost. up his, he held up his controller in a way that to me suggests I did down B, and I don't know what that jank is. Yeah, he's, he's explaining the situation.